Don't look sports talk worldwide with some news in the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Bam. Keith Thurman versus your boy Josezita Lopez. Uh, majority decision, Keith Thurman handles his business and come back fight after hand and elbow injuries. Right? But I told you. The narrative now is it didn't look so great. And, uh, you know, while he was rocked in round seven, L Lopez was in the fight and Lopez was walking him down. Just everything except this man looked good in the return. Been off two years. Hand and elbow injuries. For you people that play other sports like European soccer or basketball, NBA basketball, right? Or basketball anywhere. You're going to have ankle injuries, right? First two few times you play again, you're worrying about where you land at. Now, aren't you? If you're playing um, soccer and all of a sudden you're dribbling and somebody, you know, dives at you or slides at you, you mad at them. Want to fight. Ma'am, I just came back from an ankle injury. Why are you sliding on me, man? Unless it's a Champions League game and practice, you got a problem with that. Those are things you get through when you have those type of injuries in your respective sports that you play. In boxing, an elbow, if you on your right arm and you're a right-hander, you're not you know, too enthused about throwing that. You know, you're a little apprehensive throwing it with everything you got, what you're going to have to do in a fight. Of course, you've been sparring, but in a fight, it's a little different. Same thing with your, with your hands. So this is the thing this man's going through. And you have tons of ring rush after two years. Right? This is a longer layoff than Tyson Fury. So I don't think we need to be worried about what he didn't do. I think his reflexes were good. I think his discipline was good. I think he jabbed all night long uh, trying to keep a guy off him who was coming forward. Let's give Jose Zito Lopez props for coming forward the whole night. No matter, even though he was... Uh, hit with a left hook early, round two, and on the ground. Uh, two things I saw were positive. Once he got up, wanted to fight, and continued coming forward in the uh, rounds after. And also, Keith Thurman for not losing his mind just because he had him down. Remained disciplined and was disciplined enough to say, okay, well, you know, let me make sure to get these rounds. Make sure that I'm not going to get clipped here. You know, see what happened in round seven, which he got hurt, and he still, you know, was able to move around. He didn't even clinch was able to move around and get up with himself out of trouble and bring the fight home. Uh, from the perspective of Keith Thurman, there's nothing else you really want. Let's make this clear. Keith Thurman comes in this fight. Jose Zito Lopez, seven losses. Well, he's respected within the boxing community, right? But, you know, casual fans, he got seven losses. Keith Thurman comes in here and knocks him out around one or two when the fight's over. Jose Zito, Jose Zito Lopez is nothing. The fight would have not that much significance for Keith Thurman. It wasn't that significant for Keith Thurman. Oh, man, that bum got beaten round two. That wasn't nothing. Now we see who Jose Z. Lopez is, and the win is uh, very, very respected. It's a very, very good win for Keith Thurman coming off two years layoff. You know, and so we got to really, um, you know, stop putting on the brakes with what he didn't do. You know, we just make sure he's out two, two years, uh, and we keep that in mind because when it came to Tyson Fury, we're hyped about what Tyson Fury was able to achieve against Deontay Wilder, right? When it came to Demetrius Andre, he just, you know, blew somebody out. Didn't let the man win one round. We still talking about he didn't take him out. You know, it depends on what the uh, perception is in these fights. I just think that we got to have to give Keith Thurman the benefit of the doubt. I knew this was going to happen. He needs to continue to, to handle his business. Not the big guys yet. Give him a couple of more fights. And then... He goes and grabs a, a spin. Up until now, he seems to want to fight Pacquiao. Uh, right now in this form, who knows, but that'll be a great fight now. Pacquiao's older, uh, and Keith Thurman's not in great form. Makes that a great fight. I have no problem with that. Let the man handle his business, get himself together. Like I said in the video prior to this one, get his feet under himself, get back together, get in the mix, and then we'll see. But as of right now, I saw something pretty decent. I was happy with his performance, um, and you know I think Keith Thurman is back. He's going. He's back. He made weight easy. He's back in the gym. If he's not injured after this fight, that's the key to not get injured, be in a pretty hard fight, go twelve rounds. Best case scenario for Keith Thurman, and was able to take some punches because you know it's been two years since nobody been hit you upside your head. That has to get used to that too.
So it's a whole lot of stuff. I saw positive in Jose uh, Lopez too. Somebody else, I told you, if you ain't on your P's and Q's, you could easily lose when it comes to Jose Zito Lopez. So we can watch him who the next duty fight because somebody's going to try to fight him thinking he's easy and they're going to get their butt whooped. So everybody comes out happy in this one. Let's just make sure that we don't continue to uh, have the ridiculous expectations of people that have been out of the sport like boxing for two years. I think that was decent. Period. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to y'all.